So yeah, we are back in the session and we want to add the UE4, not the UE4, the UE5 menu. And for that, what we can do is click on this small button here, add, and there should be something which means add feature or content pack. And we will add the third person because there we get the UE4, UE5 menu. <laughs> and we say add to project. And well, it's already edited, it was quite fast. <laughs> I'm really amazed how fast my machine is or Unreal Engine 5.1. I don't know yet if there is a optimization when it comes to performance, but it's still super fast, really super fast. So here we have the UE5 menu. It's a female one, seems to work quite fine. I just need to say that you need to be careful Let's check if this has happened or not what I mean, because that was an Unreal Engine 5.0. So I'm using Git. And yeah, the five, the, the introduction of the third person template might break your input controls. Let's see if it, if it's the case or not. I would say really watch my videos slowly. So it's still working. Okay, it did not break anything, but yeah, you should keep it in mind that something might change in your settings of the project. So yeah, if, if you want to learn something about Git, I would recommend you watching my other series where I show how I'm using, how I'm using Git and I'm still using this for backup or so. Oh, also while recording videos because it might break something and I can go back in time and yeah, we re record the video if something breaks. So highly recommend using Git. I would say now we are really done with the project setup and we can move on getting the UE5 menu working with ALS. See you in the next session.